Okay, I'm just about to give the bike its uh, ACF 50 treatment. Um, just a few seconds to show what I'm doing. So, I've used dozens of bin bags and I've literally covered both front and back wheels, uh, making sure that I've got none of the wheel, none of the rubber, and importantly, none of the brake arrangements exposed whatsoever because. With the ASO 50, you literally give it a liberal coating throughout. Uh, I use one of these uh, atomizer sprays, and I literally fill that with the ACF 50, which is this product. I'll fill the atomizer bottle, and I'll put it in a jug of boiling water for about 5-10 minutes, just to take some of the viscosity off the oil as it goes on a, f a lot easier and a lot finer uh, when, um, when it's sort of smooth but yeah literally just give it a liberal coating obviously there's areas you want to avoid uh, and I'll mostly just put a bit of tape on the foot pegs just before I start um, one thing just to show you um, I use the Optimate 4 charger I put it on when I'm not on the bike for more than a couple of weeks it keeps the battery charged but it's also great because it puts load on the battery and it cycles the battery so it's keeping the condition of it great and then what I like about this is that it comes with a connector here which connects directly to the battery here so you're not having to continually connect to the battery each time you want to charge and literally it's a case of connecting these two together tucking the bike away leaving the Optimate on and you, you can relax knowing that when you come to use the bike again, the battery will be in great condition. For those who don't know, ACF50 was produced for the uh, um, aerospace, not aerospace, but the, uh, the, uh, the airplane industry uh, to protect the fuselages from all weathers. So, uh, yeah, very good product. Anyway, guys, oh, just one other thing. Uh, make sure you take your seats off. The last thing you want to be doing is getting oil on your seats. Likewise, with the rubber grips, uh, I'll obviously be coating this, well, I'll, I'll be protecting the screens, uh, but I'll also be making sure I, I avoid them um, along, with, along with the glass. But if you do get ACF50 on the plastics, it's no big deal. Just wipe it off uh, and it doesn't uh, have any lasting effect. And as you can see, all ready to go now. Put blankets on the floor just to catch any drips overnight. Here I've got the ACF50. In the water that'll be ready in a few minutes just put a little bit of protection over there one thing i didn't say earlier is that this acf 50 is fine on electronics so don't be worried whatsoever around keep you know covering connectors and wiring it's all good with acf 50 so uh, yeah all ready to go Okay, there we go, simple as that. All I'm going to do now is go over the bike, remove any overspill, overspray I should say. Don't worry about taking off the excess, it only leaves a molecular fine layer of oil anyway, so um, removing the surface oil. It's not a problem, it still leaves the ESF 50 where it needs to go. So yeah, so I'm literally just going to continue around the bike, taking the excess off, and let it do its stuff. It will drip onto the floor, but that's fine. Um, 
and I'm just looking to see if there's any areas I've missed as I go around. So uh, yeah, happy days, guys. So it's been about uh, six, seven hours. I've decided to turn the engine over soon. But as you can see, all that's happening now is the excess oil is just burning off. Uh, in the past, I've just found that I'll do this for five, ten minutes, uh, and then we'll be good to go. Anyway, over and out, guys. Um, catch you later. Bye bye.